All right, so this is just gonna be a really quick video. Um, I'm gonna keep it simple for you guys. Obviously, you've seen the title in this, so I'm doing an easy paternoster slash dropper rig. So really making it non-complicated. But um, before we start the video, can we please just absolutely smash the subscribe button. And uh, if you don't mind, just click the notification bell as well so you get all of my videos. Cheers, I appreciate it. So we'll get straight into it. All we're going to need for this video is simply a snapper lead, a hook or two, and then just your line, as you can see there. Now, to start off, we've got to make a loop to attach our sinker. So that's step one. So we'll do that now. So all we're going to do is make a fairly big loop. Yep. Like that. Fairly big loop then you're just going to turn it back on itself wrap it under and over twice Whoop. twice and then with the loop you just created you're going to go straight back down through there and that once you pull it tight, it's going to be the loop for the sinker. So we're just going to trim that tag end off there. As you can see, I'll leave it sit there for you. Just going to cut this tag end off nice and close. Then that's ready to attach to the sinker. What you're going to do to do that is you've got your loop. You're going to pinch it tight right up the end here. Pinch it very tight. Pop that through the eye of the sinker all the way through. Now that you got that through, there's the knot there. All you're going to do is wrap it around the sinker and pull it tight. And there you go, the sinker's attached. So that's step one. Now, for step two, this is the part where we attach our hook. You don't want it too close to the sinker, but you also don't want it so that you have such a long leader that once you get a fish to the boat or every time you wind in to check your bait you just have a big mess so what we're going to do we're going to go hmm what's that about 40 centimeters yeah 35 to 40 centimeters up from the sinker so you're just going to put that aside going to get some line out and then what we're going to do is make a loop, fairly big loop in our line. Yep, so we got it. We're just going to cross it over and pinch it there for a second. Now that we got that, all we're going to do is put this one here, we're going to twist them around about four times. One, two, three, Whoop, three, four. All right, so now you got that. You'll have this loop in the middle here, as you can see. So on either side of my fingers, there's twists. Yeah. Now all you, you want to do is get the loop and push it down through there. So now that's starting to come together. You can pull that up a bit. Then all it is, hold this one out here and tighten. Hopefully you can see that. Pull it tight. Now you have a loop. Now, preferably, if I had more space, you could make it a lot bigger than this. So then that your hook is further away from your main line. But just for the purpose of the video, this is all right. So now to finish this one off, all you're going to do, same as the sinker, pinch it together, thread it through the eye of your hook, and then around your hook. And there you have it. So now, as you can see, we have our sinker attached. Up our line, we have a hook attached. And now we're up to step three, the final step. So now that we've got the hook tied on, we're going to come up another... 30 or 40 centimeters a line 
then we can snip that off there. So that's the main part of our rig. All that's left to do now for part three is tie it onto your swivel or onto your main line. So yeah, as I said, you can either do that through using a swivel or if you use braid, you can always just do a braid to leader knot. Then that's attached to your rod out here. There's your hook. There's your sinker, very simple. The other thing you can do with this, whereas I've put one hook on here, you can always put another hook up a bit further up so then you have two baits. So this rig is perfect for your deeper water drops or if the current's raging and you can't get to the bottom with a floater rig for example. You can do this and you'll shoot straight down hopefully or at least a bit easier. It's also good for fishing liveies. So if you're fishing for your Jew, snapper, kingfish, you can drop this straight to the bottom and have a livey dangling off there and it's perfect for them. There you go, I hope this has helped and I hope um, you can get out there and get some fish using this rig. It can be a complicated one for some people so I hope this has simplified it a bit. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video, turn on that notification bell, uh, check out some of my other videos. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, thank you.